All right, what is up guys? Today we're gonna work on getting the steering box out, all the steering linkages, and we're gonna install this Flaming River rack and pinion. It comes with the mounts, the U-joints to go from the steering column down. First, we're gonna take some oven cleaner because I heard this stuff works really good on grease and oil. We're gonna pressure wash it off. We're gonna get it up on the lift and we're gonna start putting that stuff on. So here we go. First step is taking that steering box and all the drag link and, and linkages bars out. Cut that piece out, drill some holes. So we're gonna take the nuts off each tie rod there. We'll take that idler pulley off and this thing should be dropping out. Taking the nuts out of this rag joint and it was pretty much finger tight. So, you know, doing 120 mile an hour in the eighth, that ain't too bad. All right, there it is. Last nasty thing underneath this car. Besides the drive. So we gotta cut this little support piece out because this is where the rack and pinion's gonna go and that's where it's gonna mount. So I'm gonna start cutting away and see how it goes. That's what he's the great engineering. That's what he's pulling. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we got that cleaned up. This is the plate that the rack and pinion will mount to. After grinding all that stuff out, it mounts just like that. There's two little pilot holes right there and then the rack and pinion will mount right there. We just gotta drill these holes out to three eighths, bolt this plate in, and we'll be good to go. Oh, that's good. That's good. Holy totally time, but Gary. Locked up. Boom. <laughs> Story by Gary. Broke his nose. Broke his that was in the hospital, paralyzed. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Man, that looks fancy in there, doesn't it? All right, guys, the uh, rack and pinion's hitting right where those marks are. We're also taking the caliper and the rotor off so we can get to the tie rod mount because we gotta take this factory one off. And then these are the new tie rod mounts that will bolt to the back of that spindle. So all we gotta do is take these two bolts loose and then there's nuts in the backside. The nuts! <laughs> this thing goes like that there on both of those and then our tie rod end hooks to that as you can see our boot is right up next to that cross member so we're gonna have to at least notch that out a little bit so anyway we're gonna put these mounts on there and see where those tie rods actually end up so to see how much we have to actually notch out of there so hopefully they're not a lot we're gonna get these rotors and calipers off we're gonna figure that out what's the recommendation of dropping a wheel bearing on the ground rub the dirt in and put it back in okay so take the grinder and grind those little spots out and then hopefully it's gonna fit in there I ground it out put everything back in here and as you can see that one is is a lot better still pretty tight this side looks about perfect i'm gonna take that back off clean that side just a little bit more and then we're gonna take this thing off and paint everything guys got to clean this thing and as you can see i kind of went a little overboard and started cleaning every single piece of frame underneath and even up here it is all pretty much bare metal we're gonna get this thing painted round two with my bolt mixing stick Ooh. oh yeah here we go again boys The paint is completely dry, so we're gonna put that rack and pinion in the mount and all that stuff in there for the last time, hopefully. She is mounted in there, looking spicy. We're gonna set up my steering shaft. We're gonna go ahead and cut that piece off. So we're just gonna cut it off like right there. And then this is gonna slide inside of that tube and that's what we'll weld on. And then that will go down to that and hopefully not hit my LS swap mount. All right, guys, we're checking to see how this shaft is gonna actually clear, and it's pretty much not. <laughs> it's going right into my motor mount there, but we're gonna cut a piece of pipe, fit it up in there, see how far we're off. That is hitting the motor mount pretty bad, but overall, it looks sweet in there, and I know this thing's gonna steer a whole heck of a lot better than what it did before. I just gotta get that part figured out. I'm either have to get some solid mounts or get a solid plate for the front and back or I don't even know what the other option is yet. So I'm gonna figure that out, but that will be for next week's video. So come back next week, see what I tear up. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later.